Linktree tutorial for beginners, how to use Linktree. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Linktree and how this platform is actually super helpful. So let's get into it. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is Linktree and how do I get started with it? Well, Linktree is a URL shortening platform, you could say, or a URL submersion platform where you can basically link multiple different social media accounts onto one single link. And what this enables you to do is that platforms like Instagram or Facebook now don't allow other social media site links, especially Instagram, unless you post it on your stories, you're not going to be able to share your Instagram, like your other social media links or your website links or anything like that. So for that, you can easily use Linktree. And if you're doing affiliate marketing, then you can easily use Linktree links on Facebook because Facebook will not allow you to use a lot of affiliate links. They usually get caught on Facebook. So you can just use Linktree for you to get started. Now, to get started with Linktree, you have to go on to link tr.ee which is the link for link tree and then you're just going to click on sign up for free at the top right over here and once you click on that you're just going to add your link tree username that you want so let's say i want jane doe inc okay so this is already taken so i will have to go with something a bit more creative um i'm just going to go with jane doe great so this is a available username you can see with the green tick over here now after that i'm just going to enter my email address and i'm going to add a new password for this account so i'm just going to add a password like this and now you're just going to agree to the terms of service and then you're just going to click on sign up with email and we're just going to wait for our sign up process to be completed like that is it all you have to do is input your email and the like one word that you want for your link tree account now after that you're just going to enter your name so we're going to add jane doe and then you're going to add what kind of link tree account are you creating so if you're a social media personality if this is for your website if this is for your, like a creative artistic stuff well let's say we want fashion and beauty and then we want clothing and accessories and you have to choose these like the initial category but the second one is optional and then you're just going to verify that you're not a robot you're going to click on continue over here and then you're going to pick out your plan i will be discussing the plans later on in this video so don't worry about that and then you're just going to click on continue to my link tree and now you're just going to be headed on over to your Linktree account. So you can see right now I have an empty Linktree. This is what my Linktree account is looking like. So I'm going to start adding my link. So first off, I'm going to click on add new link. And then you're going to add your title, which is going to be my uh, Wix store. Or, you know, whatever you actually want. And then you're just going to copy paste the URL. So I'm just going to go on to my Wix website builder. And I'm going to open up one of my websites just to copy the link and add it to my Linktree account. So we're just going to log into Wix to add our links onto Linktree. So I'm just copying this link and I'm going to paste it over here. And now you can choose to add or remove this link from your link tree. Now, uh, depending on the kind of link tree account that you have, so you can not only add different links, but you can also redirect and temporarily send visitors to a specific link instead of your link tree. You can also add thumbnails. So you can click on set thumbnails. And I'm just going to choose from one of the icons over here. And I'm just going to use this as an icon. You can also upload your own thumbnail from your Google Drive or from your desktop as well. You can also link a, any kind of uh, image that you find on Google Images or Rectezy or any of those royalty-free image sites. And now I'm just going to click on Add New Link. Or let's say you can go on to Explore. And what you can do in your Explore section is that you can add very specific kind of links. So let's say you have a youtube account then you can just click on over here and then enter your youtube url and this is going to look very specific to the youtube look so if you want to match the look of your social media sites then you can definitely choose that so i'm just going to add another link so this could be twitter I'm going to go on to Twitter and copy my profile link from Twitter. And just like that, you can add as many of your social media accounts as you want. So I'm just going to go on to my own profile and we're just going to copy this over here. And once I have copied this, I'm going to paste the URL 
and now you can see I've added the second thing. Now you can also have a prioritize section. So uh, whenever you have a specific item, like choose to display this tweet on your link tree or a link to offer. So you can display your latest tweet on your link tree. You can display like your profile, like a basic information about your profile onto your link tree as well. And you can also add a thumbnail. So I'm going to add another thumbnail and I'm going to choose another one of these icons. This is just for reference, you know just to make it look slightly more interesting i definitely would recommend adding your own kind of icons that you download from any platform you can find icons on canva or any other platform take a small colorful graphic those usually work a lot better now after that you're going to click on schedule so you can also schedule when your links go live so if you're doing like a product launch then you can schedule those as well and then you also have a lock section so only visitors uh with a certain criteria so maybe like if you have like an only fans or something like that if you do some 18 plus explicit content maybe your music is like that or your art is like that then you also have sent content warnings that you can add onto your link tree accounts as well so that is another thing you can do and not only that you can also track your links with link tree analytics but that is only available on the pro version of the link tree so once you have done that you can see i have like my basic links now once you have added your links you're going to click on appearance so once you do that, you're going to add your title. So this is the title that I'm going to go with. And then you can upload your own image or design it with Canva. And I'm just going to go on to Canva and design a small little image to add to my Linktree account. So I'm just going to use this reference image. And this is just like to show you guys how it's going to look like. You can obviously design a lot more on Canva. I'm just doing this to show you guys a estimate of how to design. And then you're going to add your profile title. So the greatest like this and now i'm going to add a description for my link tree which could be find me there and then you can add like a downward arrow if you want or something like that and i'm just going to make sure to correct these spellings and now below that you have your different themes so a basic theme is what is available for your custom themes and then you have some of these colorful themes like this you can pick out any one of these themes to get started with. I find that using one of these themes is going to be very simple and easy for you. Uh, you also can upgrade to the premium versions to get some of these more exclusive ones, or you can click on create your own and create your own kind of theme with these kinds of uh, different fonts and integrations that they have. But we're just going to use one of their basic pre-made themes like this one. I find this to be pretty nice. So we're going to scroll with that. And then you can scroll down to take a look at all the different options. If you want to change the font or anything, like you can pick out a different font like this. And now we're going to go on to the next section, which is settings. And just like that, you can add some settings like your Google SEO, support banners, mailing list integrations, any integrations that you might want to have on your link tree. I don't want any actual integrations, so I'm just going to skip this part. But if you have Google Analytics that you want, you can set those up as well. And then you have your actual analytics from link tree. So we're just going to continue on to that. And now once you have set all of that up, you have your views, clicks, and CTR, which is click uh, your click conversion, basically, how many people actually end up clicking from your link tree onto your website and stuff. So once you have set all this up, your link tree is now ready and live to be shared onto different platforms. So I can go onto my account. And now I have a basic link tree. I can just click on share over here and then add my link tree to my socials as well. So I can link it to all of my social media profiles where people can find all of my links in one specific place. So if we take a look at the pricing of the link tree, it starts at free. So with the basic designs that you have, it is available for free. And then if you want to unlock some of the more uh, premium stuff like your schedule, spotlight, or redirect animations, email collection, and all that, you might want to upgrade to the starter version. And if you want email collection you will have to upgrade to the pro version starting at nine dollars and then we also have a premium version of 24 dollars per month where you get features like a lower transaction fee you also get a lot of other features like data exports and you also have global utm parameters and you also have a response time of under four hours so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video